With a title like that, you're sitting there wondering, that can't be possible. How is that possible? You can't possibly have an amazing team culture in only 30 seconds a day. Well, guess what? You can. I do it all the time with my teams, whether they are my teams in Australia, my global teams, and with all of our clients. It's super easy, super effective, and it's guaranteed to build your business, improve the team culture, and have your team loving you as their leader in less than 30 seconds a day. Let's get stuck in right now. So 30 seconds is not a long period of time, and I'm going to keep this podcast really short today. It's a very, very simple process, guys. 30 seconds a day, maybe 40 seconds if you want to take a little bit longer. Sometimes it blows out to a huge minute. The fact is right now is that we can and we do build our team and have massive amounts of team success with uh, 30 seconds a day. It's the 30-second little uh, tip or tactic, the 30-second trait, whatever you want to call it. Uh, create a sexy name for it if you want. But look, here's, here's the thing. It is about making sure that every day you simply uh, have a mentality that every day when I'm working, like, let, let me change, uh, change around how I word this. Every day as I'm getting to the office, I make sure that I invest probably about 10 to 15 seconds of my time thinking about who... I can invest 30 seconds with personally each day. So I will pick at least one person that I know I can invest just 30 seconds with every day to make them feel special, to make them love our team, to love me, to want to do more with the team, be more, feel like they're part of it, the the community feel, the engagement, and those type of scenarios. Now, this is not about having big one-on-one meetings. It's not about having the five-minute stand-up, the three-minute huddle, the insert sexy name for everyone's tips and tricks and all this. It's not about having a meeting every day or anything like that. This purely comes down to people being seen and people feeling like they are being acknowledged. And you know what? We are acknowledging them, so it's not a smoke and mirrors thing. There is a uh, a part in the African Zulu tribes, and it's all about Sawabona. And Sawabona is, stands for, it's all about the, the fact of the matter is that I see you. And Sawabona is I see you. You are important to me. And until I acknowledged you, I didn't really understand that you existed. Now, that's pretty powerful in its own right. So let me just say that again. Soa is all about looking someone in the eye and being in a situation where it's, I see you, you're important to me, and I value you. Now, what if you took that one principle and went, I'm going to apply it, not as in you're going to walk in and say, ah, Soa Borna. And they go, right, okay, and they don't really understand it. But you take that one principle and you apply that to your team. If you're in that situation where you literally just acknowledge someone and you literally took 30 seconds to talk with someone personally to acknowledge something that might have happened in their life in the last day or two, maybe it's Tuesday morning and you know that they're going for a bushwalk on the weekend. And you know that you could just literally say, hey, John, you know, hey, John, um, how did the bushwork go on the weekend? It is the same mentality as what Sawabono is to a Zulu warrior or any Zulu tribe member for that matter, right? You're actually stopping the person from what they're doing. You're looking at them and creating that eye contact, which the African people know is the the window to the soul and their ancestors and their family and their tribe and community. You are physically just turning around saying, I see you, you're important to me, and I value you. It's the exact same premise. And by turning that into a scenario where you can literally just grab 
20 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. I say 30, but most of the time, it's actually not even that. And every day, I turn up to the clinic, turn up to my office, turn up to the team, wherever it is I am. And I walk in knowing there's one or two people that I'm going to deliberately make 30 seconds for. Now, that might not actually sound like much. And to be totally honest, it's not. But it is a super powerful way of acknowledging people, showing them that they are important, making them understand that you value them and that you see them. Now, 92% of the what we learn comes through visual stimulus as well. So when we, rather than just telling someone something, we draw it out with circles, triangles, squares, models. It's why my one of my business blueprints is the only international world winning blueprint in the health industry of Australia. You know, I've picked up five international business awards because of how we run this, because we know the uptake. We know we can guarantee with what we're doing because of the models and the templates and the IP and the trademarks and all those things, right? So we can do that for our own business as well. But you can do this for your business. You can do this for your team. You can make people feel valued. And we're not just playing smoke and mirrors. They are valued. We like them. We love them. We want them to be part of the team. We want them to be able to grow personally and professionally. But the whole principle of Sao Bono and the I see you and the my 30 second approach is super powerful. So I make sure that at least two people every day get my 30 second Sao Bono type approach. Now, most of the time, because I'm actively trying to do that, I naturally now, over the course of the first couple of weeks of doing this, you naturally start to do this with most of the team every day. Now, if that means that as a team leader, you know, we've got like 16 team members in one of my clinics. If I manage to do that with eight or 10 of them every day, then I'm actually working with someone personally and professionally. I'm acknowledging people every day. I'm explaining to their brain through eye contact and through the Sao Bono approach that I see them, they're important to me and I value them. And as a net result, we have very deep relationships, very deep uh, communication in place. We have people that have huge amounts of respect and time and, and love for one another, all for the right reason. And as a net result, they crawl over broken glass for one another. You know, I, I don't know the last time I had a problem with a team member. It's been years. We have people that are staying, like we've got people in the health industry that this rarely ever happens, where you have people that I that have been with our team for more than 10 years and we're paying long service leave for people. Hey, you know what? You might want to do that financially from a business, but hey, you know what? If that means it's an extra couple of grand I have to pay someone because I've been with us 10 years, do you know how much money that has made the business over a 10 year period by having someone who's a friggin' rock star in that position? So here's the thing, guys, for 30 seconds a day, if you've only got two member, two team members, good. That's great. Do it for those two every day. Take 30 seconds every day to absolutely knock someone's socks off on acknowledgement. Sawa bono effect. It's that I see you. You're important to me and I value you. And get to know people personally. It's not just, oh, it's a bit cold out there today, isn't it? Or did you see the football on the weekend, right? You just have to invest 30 seconds of time. And that's all it is most of the time. It's not even that. I, I do a high five in the hallway moment where I'll literally walk out into the hallway at you know maybe nine o'clock in the morning when it's you know sort of changeover between the 8.30 appointments and nine o'clock. I know if I just sort of hang around in the hallway type of thing in a one or two minute period, I'll be able to talk to one or two of my team members. And it's very, very simple to do that for 10 seconds, not 30 seconds. Because now I'm literally going, hey, dude, how you going? And you can start a conversation very, very quickly about them. And by doing that, you're acknowledging the personal approach. You're acknowledging the friendship. You're, play, again, playing that soul bono effect of being about them. It's not about numbers. It's not about KPIs. It's not about see more clients or do this or do that. And every single one of us, if we were to be realistic and truthful with ourselves right now, knows that we spend more time focused in on things like numbers and do, you know, build the business and they've got to see more, we need better utilization, et cetera, et cetera, than what we do actually getting to know the person. 
when you have a team that's strong and crawls over broken glass, you have less sick days, you have people helping each other out, they learn and grow from each other, their utilization's up, their specs up, the business grows, you have huge amounts of raving fans, like literally the business goes nuts. You don't have turnovers, you don't have to hire except for growth, you're not trying to replace people. There are so many benefits and literally it is worth tens of thousands of dollars a year, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to the bigger companies by working off this 30 second approach every day. So a bono. So let me say it to you right now as I look down the, the, uh, the barrel of the camera to you as well. I see you. You're important to me and I value you. I'll talk to you again very soon. Hey guys, thank you very much for listening to another episode of the Profitable Practice Podcast. I would love nothing more than for you to be able to leave a review. I get so much joy out of listening and reading the amazing things that you guys say about this. So please subscribe to our channel, leave a review and share it with your friends. Let's get some more fantastic information out there so all of us can grow the industry together. Cheers for now.